If you want to be a Tesla FSD beta tester, Elon Musk reveals how you can join. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell and give us thumbs up, please, for this video if you find the information helpful. So Tesla CEO Elon Musk finally revealed how the company would choose its expanded population of full self-driving beta testers. Be a good driver for seven days. After revealing last week that Tesla would expand the full self-driving beta testing group, a Twitter follower of Musk asked how owners could join the exclusive group of drivers that have access to the most robust version of Tesla's semi-autonomous driving software. Here's what Elon Musk said in a Twitter reply. He said, quote, beta button will request permission to assess driving behavior using Tesla insurance calculator. If driving behavior is good for seven days, Tesla will grant beta access, Musk said in a Twitter response. The Tesla CEO also indicated in another tweet that version 10.1 of the full self-driving beta would roll out in a week on September 24th. 10.1 rolls out a week from Friday with beta request option, Musk added in that tweet. A Twitter follower of Elon Musk also commented writing, you must be a good driver not to drive, which may become a new norm. To this, Elon Musk replied and said, ironically, yes, at the same, at this time, full self-driving beta system at times can seem so good that vigilance isn't necessary, but it is. Also, any beta user who isn't super careful with, uh, will get booted. 2,000 beta users operating for almost a year with no accidents needs to stay that way. End of Elon Musk's quote. Friends, similar to the programs that some insurance groups operate like Allstate, Tesla will judge whether a driver is suitable for the beta program through their driving performance drive safely for a week and the company will grant access to the beta program an exclusive membership to tesla's impressive functioning semi-autonomous driving suite the beta button has been in development for some time we were expecting it to come earlier but it hasn't been there yet it was said to be released earlier this year but tesla chose to keep the beta test group small to improve safety because Elon Musk has several times said that safety is very important for them. Now that the suite is becoming more robust, confident and ac ac um, accurate in the measurement, it is time to broaden the user population, ultimately resulting in more data for Tesla to work with for future updates. Tesla full self-driving beta 10.1 will be a slightly improved version of the v10 update that was released last week and the main issue a main uh, advantage was user interface musk said that the new version would reverse maneuvers if it senses danger is nearby just as a human would if dangerous road conditions are nearby tesla's full self-driving beta seemingly improves with nearly every update thanks to software advancements and developments to the company's neural network which improves with every mile driven because it's learning. Tesla's, uh, actually Tesla releases new versions of full self-driving beta every other Friday. So if the company remains on time with its development, another update will come two weeks after with 10.1. So we should expect more interesting things happening. In order to be eligible for the full self-driving beta public button, people in discussion boards ask, what is good driving? Maybe you can tell me, what is good driving these days? No speeding, turn signals, keep hands on wheel during autopilot. What do I have to do? I assume good driving means following all traffic rules and keeping your hands on the wheel and paying attention when using autopilot, not your phone. Other people say typical good driving hardly makes sense here. What you want are people who are paying attention because these days good driving means paying attention use the video collected from the cabin camera for all of those that opted into sending to tesla to pick out the drivers that keep their eyes on the road 
and not on their phones. I would expect that you would lose your beta driving privilege if you fail to pay attention to the road ahead. Tesla now uses both the hand on the wheel and camera to make this determination. I wonder if it is seven days of data after pressing request button or the prior seven days. When do I start driving nice? For those interested in what they will collect, here is what they have been collecting per Tesla hacker Tristan on April 10th. A number of autopilot strikeouts. Number of forward collisions and warnings. Number of lane departure warnings. Number of ABS activations, all and user. Number of time spent within one second of car in front. Time spent within three seconds of car in front. Acceleration variance software testing requires skills quite different from good driving. Besides normal driving, the tester needs to carefully select corner cases and accurately report their findings. If they had some understanding of the software, they could provide valuable insights to the developers. Further, full self-driving testers need to have quick responses to correct beta software mistakes. These are typically not the tame drivers that Tesla is favoring. So you need to have a, some type of driving characteristics, driving character that Tesla wants in order to ensure maximum safety. If Tesla's strategy is that someone else is doing the testing while good careful drivers get to use only the test functionality, then that seems wrong and really dangerous, say some people in discussion boards. Even careful drivers can encounter dangerous situations on the road. Perhaps Tesla should favor those that drive widely and have not crashed or killed anyone as yet. While it would make sense for Tesla to make sure only good drivers use the full self-driving beta software, as it gets trained, you venture into a tricky territory since those customers paid for the software already. Let's say the driving behavior calculator rejects them for whatever reason. What happens now? Do they not get access to the software only when it's not in beta anymore? When will that be? Do they get reimbursed in the meantime? Friends, I don't know. It does raise a lot of questions. What would you say to those questions? How would you answer them? Let me know, please, in the comment section below. Now, either way, it will be interesting to see how it plays out. In the meantime, if you plan on getting the software, please keep in mind that Tesla is not taking any responsibility for the full self-driving beta and you are still responsible for your vehicle. It's important to be very careful and vigilant while using the software. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and join our community for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. And please give us thumbs up for this report if you found the information helpful. I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's be kind to each other. Love your neighbor friends. God bless you and peace be with you and your families. See you soon in our next report.